these colorful balls. Wow. And you know what else is colorful? Yeah, this blue and yellow sailboat. <laughs> Sailboats get powered by the wind. And I'm blowing it like I'm the wind. Watch. That is so cool! And look, here's another sailboat! This sailboat is the color red and yellow! Whoa! <laughs> hey! Whoa! Do you see down there? There's some eggs under the water! These boats and these balls float on top of the water, but down there! Do you see those? There's a green, yellow, orange, and purple egg! I think we should go under the water and get the colorful eggs! Okay, we're gonna use this guy's help, okay? Here we go! Here we go! <laughs> Okay, we're gonna go under the water. <gasps> Here he goes. Whee! can't hold his breath for that long. All right, let's go again and get the green egg. Okay. <sighs> Yay, look, he got the green egg. Wow. Okay, green egg. Okay, now. Let's get the yellow egg. Ready? All right, here I go. Let me jump off the sailboat. got the yellow egg! Wow, good job! All right, two more eggs. Oh, gotta lift that up a little bit. Getting a little wet. All right, two more eggs. Here we go. Here we go, hold your breath! Hold your breath! All right. <laughs> All right, here we go. <gasps> yeah! Woohoo! <laughs> Look, we got the orange egg! Yay! All right. One last egg. Wow! One more egg. And it's the purple egg. Oh, this is gonna be fun. All right, construction worker guy. You ready? I'm ready. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hold your breath. We did it! Look, it's the purple egg! Wow! That was so much 
fun getting those eggs from under the water. Whoa! And look, the boats and all the colorful balls. Whoa! Oh no! The boats are sinking! <laughs> okay, I'll help them out. <laughs> all right. Okay. Oh, look! <laughs> all right, I got a net. I think we should get all these balls out of the hot tub. Ready? Oh, choo -choo -choo. Ooh, yeah, I got one! Yahoo! Yellow! Woohoo! Orange! Yeah! Pink! Purple! Whoa! I got four in one scoop! Red and pink! Uh, blue and green! Four more! Red and blue! Green and pink! Green! Orange! Green! Orange, blue! Pink! And last but not least! Come on everyone, let's make learning fun So much to learn about, it'll make you want to shout Blippi! <laughs> I'm gonna put my face in the water and you can see what I look like while I'm underwater. <laughs> <laughs> and look at what it is! And you and I are gonna learn about, yep, airplanes! Whoa! All the people, they look like ants when we're up with the birds on the airplane. The wings keep us gliding We're on top of the world So hear that whirring engine And look out on the wing We're gonna fly, fly, fly Till we can touch the sky We're gonna soar right through the clouds We're gonna fly, fly, fly We're going way up high On the airplane in the sky We're going to fly Gonna fly, fly, fly till we can touch the sky. We're gonna soar right through the clouds. We're gonna fly, fly, fly. We're going way up high on the airplane in the sky. We're going to fly. This is snow, whoa, and it's really cold. <laughs> and snow is really fun to do stuff in, like play in it, like this. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Another fun thing I like to do in the snow, it's called a snow angel. But first, we need some fresh snow that's untouched, come on. Whoa. Oh, yeah, look at this. No one has ever touched the snow before. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to jump in the snow. I'm going to go like this with my arms. And I'm going to go like this with my legs. <laughs> and it will make an angel. Ready? Okay, I think 
You can see it now. Watch, I'll move, and then you can see the angel. Oh, that was so much fun. I kind of want to do another snow angel because I love snow. <laughs> Like I said, the first rule of snow angels is untouched snow. <laughs> and look, come here. Whoa, do you see the snow behind me? Here we go! much fun making a snow angel with you. I sure do love the snow and I sure do love making videos for you. Bye! hanging out in this cardboard box. Check it out. It's like a bird. Whee! <laughs> oh, I have so many cardboard boxes around here. What are we to do with them? Hmm. I have an idea. Why don't we take a few of these cardboard boxes and make something out of them? <laughs> this is going to be fun. Just making a rocket ship out of these cardboard boxes. <laughs> I am using these scissors nice and safely to cut a giant window out of it. Whoa, look at that! <laughs> wow. Ooh, now I can sit inside it later. <laughs> then we can explore outer space. I am so excited. Okay, here we go. So now that I have my window, I can then put the cardboard box, well, used to be a box, now it's a rocket ship, up. And do you see this? This is a square. Yeah, but we actually need to make it a triangle. <laughs> so let's take our scissors. Yep. With your parents' grown up supervision, you can cut this nice and carefully. Okay, one side is done. And now we need to do the other side. Here we go. Look at that. It used to be a square, but now it's a triangle. <laughs> okay, now we need some tape to then tape it to make the top of the rocket ship. Okay, here we go. Let's grab the tape, pull off a big piece of tape. Whoa! Alright, let's get the little slice. Okay, there we go. Whoa! <laughs> okay, put that there. I love making things out of cardboard boxes. You can make so many things. Today we're making a rocket ship, but one time I made a monster truck, another time I made a dolphin, <laughs> and I named that dolphin 
Uh, what was that name? I think it was Dolphy. <laughs> oh, oh, sometimes the tape gets stuck, but that's okay. We got it. All right, there we go. Give it a little slice. And then, tape up the other side. Wow, here we go. I am so excited to go into outer space. Have you ever seen the stars at night? Yeah, they're so bright. <laughs> and the moon? I love the moon. Have you noticed that the moon sometimes is a full moon? Yeah, sometimes it's a half moon. And sometimes it's a new moon. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's uh, give this a little twist. Now it's time to design our rocket ship. I am so excited. This is one of my favorite parts. So, the first step to design is to have a plan. So let's take this white piece of paper right here, and let's draw the rocket ship. So the first thing you need to do is plan. Plan how the rocket ship is going to look. So let's draw the rocket ship. So we have a trapezoid over here, and then we have a big rectangle for the body of the rocket ship, and then we have a triangle for the cone of the rocket ship. And obviously, I want a lot of color. So first, let's take some orange. Perfect, I love orange. And then let's take some blue. So, let's color it in. I have a plan, I'm gonna use colored paper for that. So I'm actually gonna use this black marker to symbolize that these are pieces of paper. And we will do that later. All right, oh, whoa, there's a lot of stars here. So let's actually, you know, make some stars right here. Yeah, yeah, I love stars because you see them at nighttime when you look up in the sky and they twinkle. Yeah, kind of like twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. <laughs> you know that song. I like that song too. Ooh, and yellow? Yeah, that's a beautiful color. Wow, our rocket ship is looking so good. All right, I think I have a really good idea. Let's take the color red, because it's nice and bright, and spell my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B L I P P I Flippy. Perfect. All right, so that is the plan. Huh, looks like this triangle, the top of the rocket ship. Yeah, we could color it. How about we color it? Yeah. Blue. I like blue. And we actually have a lot of blue paint on the here, so we can actually just use blue paint for this part. Wow. Perfect. Whoa. I think if we can make this rocket ship in real life, it's gonna be so good. All right, here we go. All right, like I said, first thing we have to do is use the blue and orange colored paper to put on the side just like this. So let's take the glue stick. Yeah, yep. Put a lot of glue right on the backs. Just like that. Okay, there's two pieces. Okay, there's one. Here's the second piece. All right, there's one, two pieces of paper, and we got to do two more. Yeah, which will make one, two, three, four pieces of paper. I'm gonna put the glue on them right over here. Okay. Now we have four pieces. One, two, three, four. 
So let me finish the rest and then we'll see how many we have in total after I'm all done, all right? Whoa! Look! <laughs> it's falling apart. <laughs> well, sometimes if things fall apart, you just have to fix them. Okay, here we go. And after we fix this, then we can count all of the colors. So, let's take our tape. All right, now the rocket booster is all fixed. Yep, there we go. Okay, now let's count all of the colored pieces. Yeah, the blue and the orange pieces. Those are my two favorite colors. Okay, there's one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pieces of paper. <laughs> Good job. Okay, what else did we have on our piece of paper over here of our initial plans of our rocket ship to go to outer space? We had stars. Yeah, remember? We had yellow stars. Yellow star. Another yellow star. Wow. They're so bright and they twinkle just like the real thing. <laughs> okay, and let's put some blue stars on there. Can you think of anything that's the color blue? My shirt. What about the big, vast blue ocean? <laughs> yeah. Here's another blue star. There we go. What about a purple star? Yeah. I like the color purple. Let's put it right there. And last but not least, another purple star. Right there. Perfect. That looks so cool. <laughs> All right. So as you remember, we have to spell my name on it because that's what was on the plans. But before we do that, let's do the top of the rocket ship. Remember what color I said I was going to paint it? Yeah, the color blue. OK, let's take some blue paint and <laughs> My painter's palette. <laughs> I'm an artist. <laughs> and let's take a paintbrush. Ooh, I love painting. <laughs> okay, and let's squeeze some blue paint right on top. Whoa! 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 <laughs> That's so much fun. Okay, let's give it a little dab. Do some painting. There we go. Wow. This is such a pretty blue. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, there we go. Have you ever used paints before? They're so fun. You can use a paintbrush and you can even use your fingers sometimes. We won't do that today, but that art technique is called finger painting. <laughs> there we go. How does that look? Do you like that? Yeah, I do too. Okay, let's put this away. We need to stay nice and clean and organized. There we go. And remember the last thing we needed to do? We needed to spell someone's name. Oh yeah, my name, Flippy. Will you spell it with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. Flippy, good job. And do you remember what color? Yeah, the color red. Okay, so let's use a new paintbrush. Yep. And then we need to make sure we don't mix 
the red and the blue, because then it won't be red anymore. And it won't be blue. Do you know what color you get when you mix blue and red? Yep, purple! But we're gonna keep them separate. <laughs> so, let's take this cap off. Oh, there is so much paint in here. And I like to use a lot of paint. Whoa! There we go! Whee! <laughs> wow, a little bit more. <laughs> All right, there we go. Okay, let's, uh, before we paint it, we should probably lay it down sideways because we need to write my name, which is sideways. Yeah, there we go. Like that. That's how we write sideways. Okay, let's take our paintbrush and let's put the letter B right here. Alright, now that we have the letter B, the second letter is the letter L. Yeah, just like that. The third letter is an I. Ready? Okay, there we go. B L I. <laughs> you know the next letter. A P, yeah. B L I P. All right. B L I P P. Yeah, here we go. All right. One last letter. B L I P P I. Flippy, good job! <laughs> there we go. We just completed the rocket ship. So now we gotta get inside. Oh no! Do you see what I did? <laughs> We're so silly! <laughs> Check this out. The window is right there. Yeah! That means we have to twist it this way. See? And now, my name is upside down! <laughs> That's okay though. We're gonna fly through outer space in this new cardboard rocket ship. I am so excited. With my name being upside down. <laughs> so silly. Are you ready? <laughs> because I sure am. Here we go! building the rocket ship with me. Now that we're in outer space, I think we should explore our solar system and learn all about it. All right, here we go. Whoa! 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 Look at that. That is our sun, and its name is called the sun. <laughs> How original. Our sun provides all the light in our solar system. That light takes eight minutes to go from the sun to our planet Earth. And the sun is so big, there's 1.3 million Earths that can fit inside of it. Whoa! That's a lot of Earths. Here we go! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Outer space is so much fun! Oh, look at that planet. That planet is Mercury. Wow, that planet is really rocky. And it, there's so many craters on it. And it actually, since it's the closest planet to the sun, one rotation around the sun is super fast. It's only about 88 days on Earth. <laughs> Mercury is awesome. Look at that planet! That planet is the planet Venus. And it is so hot! It's the hottest planet! Woo! It's getting hot in here! 
<laughs> the planet has so many volcanoes on it! And it's actually really bright. If you look up in the sky from our planet Earth, you can actually see it without a telescope. Wow! <laughs> Here we go! where you and I live. Wow, what a beautiful planet. There's so much water there, and then there's a lot of trees and mountains. Whoa, and our planet Earth, yeah, we have one moon. Let's head there now. sent robots and rovers to Mars. That is awesome! Us humans have yet to land on Mars ourselves, but maybe someday soon, maybe you'll be the astronaut! Yeah! Here we go! That's our planet Jupiter. It's the biggest planet in our solar system. And do you see that big red dot? That is a storm. Whoa, that's a big storm. And Jupiter actually has 79 moons. <gasps> that's crazy. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! See you later, Jupiter. Hello, Saturn. <laughs> Check it out. This is our planet Saturn. Whoa, what are those? Those are Saturn's rings. Wow, there's so much dust, ice, and rocks that form those to make up those rings. Wow, what a cool looking planet. All right, Saturn, see you later. Bye bye. Uranus. Yeah, what a cool planet. Wow, it's kind of blue looking, huh? Yeah, that's because there's so much ice on it. It's known as the big ice planet. Whoa, it has 13 rings and 27 moons. All right, see you later, Uranus. Bye bye. Whoa. That planet is the planet Neptune. It's so dark, cold, and windy on that planet. Oh, let's get out of here. The last planet of our solar system. Look at it, it's really small. That is Pluto. It's so small, it's a dwarf planet. Wow, and it's really cold. I love Pluto. <laughs> it's really chilly out here, though. Let's turn around and count all of the planets, shall we? about all of the planets in our solar system together. Hey, I think we should count all of them. Okay, the sun isn't a planet, so let's count the planets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, oh w w wait a second, eight, nine? Who knows? Some people say Pluto's not a planet, but I don't know. It's all up in the air right now. Or outer space. 
<laughs> so silly. Eight or nine, we'll keep it at that. Okay, now let's name the planets. Ready? Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto. Wow, good job. All right, well, I should probably get going now. Maybe we'll go and explore another solar system someday. All right, see you later. Bye-bye. Blippy, and look at all the items that I have. Whoa! So many random things. But hey, in this video, we are going to do the Blippy Velocity Race! Yeah! That's where we put a lot of these items on this ramp. Yeah, see how this ramp is at an angle? Yeah, we're gonna let them go at the same time and see what item reaches the bottom first. Okay. So let's go with heat number one, the slow pokes. <laughs> we have this sweet, colorful beach ball, and then we have this really light balloon. Okay, all right. What one do you think is gonna reach the bottom first? I think I know. Three, two, one. Whoa, did you see that? Yeah. The beach ball went to the bottom first. Okay, let's let them just, you know, get warmed up for later. And then we'll use some more items. Yeah, I'm sure all these items are gonna be a lot faster. Okay, here's another set of items. They're actually the same item. Water bottles. Yeah, but this one is empty. And this one is half full. <laughs> all right. Let's put them on their side, and then let's let them roll down. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Awesome. Three, two, one. Whoa, yeah. Wow. The half full water bottle totally beat the empty water bottle. How do you feel after your race, half full water bottle? Oh, Blippi, I feel amazing. I can't believe I've won. Great. Well, it's gonna move on to the next race. Half full water bottle versus extremely bright orange duct tape. <laughs> All right, here we go. Are you ready? Ready to race. Are you ready? You know I'm ready. All right. Three, two, one. Whoa. Whoa, did you see that? Yeah, the water bottle rolled down way to the bottom, way quick, way faster than the duct tape. Perfect. So now it can move on to the next round. Have you ever wondered why these items, some go fast and some go slow? Yeah, it's because their velocity yeah, velocity is basically the speed at which they're rolling down. The speed and the direction. Yeah, there's a lot of things that actually determine what the item's velocity is. I mean, like, think about it like this. There could be a lot of friction and it like can't slide or maybe it rolls compared to, you know, maybe there's sharp edges. There's just so many things that, you know, determine how fast, how much velocity these items have. So let's let these two items go. We have orange over here and apple over here. And let's see who wins. Go! Whoa! They were actually really close to each other. I don't even know who won. Let's see that instant replay. All right, let's pick two more items. We have a soccer ball or a football, depends where you live, and the half full water bottle. 
The champion! Okay, let's see who wins. All right, here we go. Are you ready? I'm good to go. Are you ready? I was born ready. All right, and away we go. Whoa, I cannot believe it. The half full water bottle wins the velocity race. Woohoo! and the crowd goes wild. <laughs> wow, that was awesome learning about velocity and how fast that water bottle went and how the ramp is angled. But yeah, if the ramp was flat, it definitely wouldn't go anywhere, right? Yeah, hey, can you think of a machine that is actually really fast? Yeah, there's a lot of them. Okay, let me give you a hint. Okay, this machine does not go on the ground. Well, it does, but then it goes in the air. Yeah. Whoa, I hear one. Yeah, maybe you've got to fly in one before. Fly? Yeah, they fly in the air. Yeah, airplanes. Yeah, airplanes are really fast. And speaking of speed and velocity, I think you and I should watch the airplane video. learning about velocity with you and it was really fun seeing all these great items compete at the great blippy velocity race <laughs> but there's only one champion and today that was water <laughs> wow <laughs> well this is the end of this video but if you want to watch more of my videos all you have to do is search for my name will you spell my name with me b-l-i P-P-I, Blippi, good job. All right, see you again, bye-bye. <laughs> 
so much to learn about. It'll make you wanna shout, Blippi! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi! And today we're here at Great Explorations Children's Museum in St. Petersburg, Florida. <laughs> yeah! And I can't wait to see what's inside and start playing. Whoa! Come on! <laughs> Whoa! Look where we're at! The Sandy Shack! <laughs> yeah! It's a really big sandbox, and you and I get to go inside! <laughs> but first, we gotta take off our shoes. One, two! <laughs> okay, I'll put these to the side, and we can go inside! Don't forget your bucket! Whoa! Look at it! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> it's so cool in here! It's really sandy! There's so much sand here, and it's a good thing we have our pail and shovels. Yeah, we have two blue shovels. We can pick up sand. And we have one, two, three different pails. Yeah, this one is the color yellow. This one is the color orange. And this one is the color red. <laughs> yeah, these are really helpful we're scooping sand up, whoa, and making a sand castle. Okay, let's try it out. <laughs> Uh-oh, it looked like our sand castle didn't stand up, but that's okay. Sometimes when you're trying to make something, it doesn't work on the first time, so you gotta just keep trying. <laughs> whoa, this is pretty cool. Whoa, but do you see these animals? Whoa, do you know what kind of animal this is? It's kind of hiding in the sand. <laughs> Yeah, this animal is a crab. Ooh, he's feeling a little crabby. <laughs> so silly. Well, this crab is really cool. Hey, do you know how crabs like to move? Uh-huh, yeah, they don't like to walk like us. They like to go side to side. Hey, will you act like a crab with me? <laughs> yeah, okay, here we go. Let's do a crab walk. <laughs> Moving side to side like a crab is so much fun! <laughs> yeah! But look at this! There's another animal! Whoa! This animal is really big and likes to live on beaches just like a crab in the sand. This, yeah, this guy, he's a sea turtle. Whoa! And look how big his shell is! Whoa! It's bigger than my head! <laughs> Whoa! This is so much fun playing in the sand. Woo, woo, woo. Maybe we can make a sand angel. Okay, here we go. Whoa, <laughs> that was so much fun playing in the sand with you. Whew. Gotta dust myself off because I'm pretty sandy now. <laughs> Let's go keep exploring. But first, we gotta put our shoes on. And now that we have our shoes on, all we have to do is tie them. Yeah, do you know how to tie your shoes? Yeah, they can be really, really hard tying your shoes. But this is how I like to tie them. So I take my laces, and first I cross them over, and I take one of the laces, and I put it through the center. Yeah, like that. And I pull it tight. Once I've done the first step, then I take the laces, and I make cute little bunny ears. Yeah, just like this. You see my two little bunny ears? Hop, 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 hop. <laughs> it's so cute. Yeah. And then I take the bunny ears and they give each other a little hug. They wrap around and then I pull that tight too. Okay, this time I'll do it a little faster. Okay, we take our laces, we cross them, and then one lace goes under. Then one bunny ear, two bunny ears. Woo! <laughs> and we cross them. We then wrap that one through, we give it a little hug, and we pull it tight. Whoa, look at that! We tied our shoes. And sometimes I like to do it again to double knot my shoes because I like to dance and I like to run and play. And you don't want to play or dance when your shoes are untied because then you might trip on your shoelace. That wouldn't be very fun. <laughs> well, there's so much more to explore, come on! There are so many cool things here! <laughs> Look at this really big circle! 
Hello! Woo! Woo! <laughs> Whoa! And look at this over here! There are so many cubes! <laughs> Whoa! There are so many different colors on these cubes. Look, we have the color white and the color red. And the color purple and the color blue. <gasps> Wait a minute. If I turn it this way, my two favorite colors, blue and orange. Hey, and look over here. There's like a little diorama playset. And there's all kinds of cool animals, like a little piggy. Oink, 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 oink. <laughs> Woo, he's gonna walk on the bridge. Whoa, and look, there are two sheep. Yeah, one, two. And you know what sound sheep make? Yeah, they go like this. Bah, bah. <laughs> and they're also gonna be on the bridge. Because they're friends with Mr. Piggy. Okay, right there. Whoa, and look at this. There are three animals here. One, two, three. Do you know what kind of animals these are? Yeah, they're little lambs. And they're so cute and tiny. Ooh. <laughs> they're gonna hang out near the bridge too. Whoa, and look at this. There are four really big cows. Moo, moo, moo. <laughs> yeah. One. Two, three, four. Whoa, four really big cows. <laughs> and they're gonna go, they're gonna go in the water. They're taking a little bath, because it's really warm out. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Hello, Mr. Pig. Hello, Mr. Cow. Hello. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> so silly. That was really fun, playing with all those foam cubes and seeing about those animals. Hey, look over here. Whoa, and look at this. Have you ever seen one of these before? Yeah, this is called an abacus. Mm -hmm. And it's really good for helping do math or arithmetic. Mm -hmm. Look, you can do it like this. One yellow lemon plus one yellow lemon. Hmm, how many lemons does that make? Yeah, two lemons. Okay, that was pretty easy. But now you can do an even harder one. What about Two apples plus three apples. Whoa, that's a lot harder. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Whoa, two plus three apples is five apples. Whoa. Yeah, abacus is really helpful for counting and math. These are really, really big. There's a watermelon and a pumpkin. <laughs> and the pumpkin's my favorite color. Orange. Hmm, I wonder what these are. Whoa! Did you hear that? Yeah, this isn't a watermelon, it's a watermelon drum. Well, that means that the pumpkin's a drum too. They sounded really cool. Whoa. Those are awesome fruit drums. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, look at this over here. Whoa, look at all these different fruits and vegetables. Yeah, we have lettuce, onion, corn, potato, carrot, whoa, and tomato. Those are so many different kinds. Now, what we can do is play a really fun game where we take all the foods in this basket and we have to match them to the right word. So, first, we got some onions. So, let's see, one onion, two onion. <laughs> yeah, we got it, that was pretty easy. Next, we got two red tomatoes. Ooh, hmm, where should the red tomatoes go? Here? Hmm, here? <laughs> yeah, that's right. We'll put them right over here. Okay, here we go. One, two. Okay, we got a couple more. Whoa, what about this? Wow, there's a lot of things here. Wait a minute. Where should we put this lettuce? It says lettuce here, but there are four parts and only two holes. Wait a minute. 
these are halves. So if you take one half and another half, and you put them together, you get one whole. One whole head of lettuce. <laughs> and we have two over here, so one half and one half, one half and one half, two whole heads of lettuce. We'll put them in the holes. One, two. <laughs> and we have two heads of corn. Whoa, and look at this. We have some yummy carrots. <laughs> I love carrots, and so do a lot of animals, like rabbits and horses. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, <laughs> it looks like I have bunny ears with my carrots. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> That's so fun. Okay, we'll put two carrots, one carrot, and two carrots. Hmm, what's left? Oh yeah, a potato! Whoa, look, we got one potato right here, and we have another potato right, wait a minute, is this a potato? <laughs> That's not a potato! Donut, so silly. <laughs> well, I guess we'll put it in the potato because we only have one potato, but this, not a potato. <laughs> Whoa, we did a really good job matching all the fruit together. Well, there's so much more to explore. Come on. <laughs> hey, whoa, I just came out of this really awesome tree house. Hey, let's explore it a little. Whoa, look at it. This is so big. This tree is enormous. Yeah, look, it's so big that they built a house under the tree, or in the tree, and a house above the tree. Whoa! This is such a cool tree house, I think you and I should go up in it. Come on! Whoa, look at this place. It's so amazing. And look at this. This isn't any tree house. This is Longo's Cove. And look at this. This is a pirate ship. Whoa, someone put this big pirate ship up in the tree. Hello, pirates. <laughs> Whoa, I'm so excited. Let's climb up. But I have a really good idea. How about you and I count all the steps on our way up? <laughs> Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, there's some more over here. Eight, nine, 10, 11, whoa, 12. We made it up all the stairs and it was 12, that was a lot. Whoa, check this out. Do you know what this is right here? Yeah, this is called a spyglass and this will help us see really far away. Whoa, I can see so far from here. <laughs> and hey, look at this. Can you find these birds? Yeah, there's all different birds over on the wall and hiding in all different places. And we can use the spyglass to see if we can find them. Okay, we wanna find an osprey, a roseate spoonbill, a brown pelican, blue herons, sandwich terns, and and hingas. Ooh, that sounds like a really cool bird. Let's see if we can find him. Okay, I'm looking. Whoa, I think I found the anhinga. He's right over there. Whoa, and I see a blue heron. <laughs> hey, right up against the blue wall. And, yeah, look, there's the sandwich turn. Whoa, that was amazing. Looking for all those different birds. Hey. Do you know where all those birds like to live? <laughs> yeah, they live in a place called an estuary. Whoa, estuary is a really fancy word, but it basically means where the ocean meets a river. Woo, <laughs> yeah. Hey, I have a fun game. Do you think that an estuary has salty water or fresh water without any salt? Hmm. You're all right, because it's both salty and fresh. It's kind of, kind of salty, <laughs> yeah. And we call that brackish water. Whoa, that's another big word. <laughs> but it's amazing, because all these cool birds and some really cool fish like to live there, <laughs> yeah. Whoa, this treehouse is pretty amazing. Let's see what else we can find. <laughs> Whoa, look at this place. Do you see above me? Whoa! 
Whoa! It's a captain's wheel! Whoa! I bet this came from the pirate ship. Whoa! That is so cool. I wish we could ride a real pirate ship into the ocean. Whoa! Hey, it looks like there's a lot of types of trash in this treehouse. Huh. Yeah. And it says over here, don't pollute. Mm hmm Have you ever heard of recycling? Yeah, it's really good because recycling helps to take care of the animals that live in the ocean and on land. <laughs> yeah. If you ever have trash, make sure it goes in the recycling bin or a trash can and not in the water. Mm -mm. <laughs> well, this treehouse is pretty cool, but I'm going to see if I can go climb up to the top. I'll see you soon. Whoa! That was so much fun, <laughs> but I'm a little bit dizzy. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, I have a really fun idea. How about you and I go up to the pirate ship in Longo's Cove and ride the big yellow slide? <laughs> yeah! Come on, let's go! Whoa! <laughs> it looks like we've been here before. Okay, we went that way, so now let's go this way. <laughs> This is so cool! Look at this place! <laughs> this treehouse is kind of spooky! Ooh! <laughs> well, I had so much fun with you today exploring the Sandy Shack and Longo's Cove! <laughs> it was so much fun! And now, for the very best part, we go down the big yellow slide! Okay, I think I'm ready! On your mark, get set, and go, Blippi! Woo! <laughs> Bye-bye! Woo! Whoa! That was so much fun! <laughs> wow, I had a really great time playing with you today here at Great Explorations Children's Museum in St. Petersburg, Florida. And we had a really fun time playing in the sand in the Sandy Shack and climbing all the way to the top of Longo's Cove. Whoa! <laughs> Well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I, Blippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye. Woo! <laughs> me, Blippi, and today we're at Amy's Playground in South Pasadena, California. Come on! Whoa! Hey, who are you? I'm Brian the Illusionist. Oh, that's cool. What are you doing? I'm building a rainbow. Ooh, a rainbow? <laughs> First thing we need is a white cloud. Okay. A blue. I don't know what you call it, maybe arch. Yeah. A green good. one. Okay. Blue. Green, yellow, okay, yellow, just like the color of the sun. Orange, ooh, orange, one of my two favorite colors. See? Ooh. Red, ooh, red. <laughs> I love the color red too. And then we need clear huh, for this extra special move right here. Ooh, what's he gonna do? I don't know. <laughs> So excited. We'll find out, won't we? Yep. Whoa. Wow. I love learning my colors. <laughs> this is the hard part. Okay. Here we go. Looks almost like it's complete. And there we have a rainbow. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that looks so cool. Whoa. Hey. Woohoo. Well, thank
Thank you so much. Rainbows are fun. How many colors does this rainbow have? Let's see. Red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. So colorful, colorful rainbow. So colorful, colorful rainbow. So colorful, colorful rainbow. So colorful, colorful rainbow. Would you like to learn how to make a balloon dog? <gasps> a dog? I love dogs. All right. Start from here, okay? Create sort of a U shape, okay? And then tightly squeeze. The tighter you squeeze, the easier it is to twist, okay? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> now, we are gonna create another U shape, all right? <laughs> tightly squeeze, leaving a bubble for a neck, okay? This is fun! <laughs> and then we're gonna fold the tail towards the neck, create another U shape, and tightly squeeze. All right, <laughs> I'm doing it. <laughs> now, if you thought that was cool, <gasps> why don't you place it on the table? Okay, <laughs> awesome. Whoa, look at it. That's my dog, Lino. Hey, Lino. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> if you think that was cool, watch this. Right now is just a balloon, but with a little imagination, we can create a dinosaur. <gasps> a dinosaur? I love dinosaurs. I wonder what one my favorite dinosaur is. <laughs> so silly. Whoa. Look at him, just twisting it. Whoa. Do you know what color that is? Yeah, a green dinosaur. <laughs> Whoa. <gasps> Whoa! There you are! Whoa! It's a T-Rex! <laughs> now, if you thought that was cool, place it on the table. <gasps> okay! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, look! A bigger T-Rex! <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool! Now, if you thought that was cool, check this out! Whoa! <laughs> Let's act like T-Rexes together. Ready? <laughs> that was so cool. Thank you so much. Whoa, what a scary T-Rex. Let's dance to this dino song. I'm making a parrot. Ah, ah. A parrot? Boo, boo. <laughs> yeah, a parrot is a bird. I love birds. They just fly in the sky. Boo. Ah. Boo. Boo. <laughs> and this parrot is the color white. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh, whoa, look. <sighs> it's a parrot in its cage. Oh, that's so cool. Now, if you thought that was cool, place it on the table. <gasps> okay. <laughs> Whoa, look. It's even a bigger parrot now. Go, 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 go. Will you act like a bird? Of course. Go, 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 go. Call you want a cracker. <laughs> that's funny. Wow, this is so cool. Well, if you thought that was cool, round two. <gasps> okay. <laughs> It's a bird! Go, 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 go! See you later! Go, go! There are so many types of birds. They are so cool. They fly, and do you know what? They also sing. Yeah, they sound like this.
lot of balloons, but you couldn't stand still long enough for me to make it. Huh, that's silly. Well, what was I doing? Jumping jacks. <gasps> jumping jacks? Really? Will you do some jumping jacks with me? Ready? Here we go! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, look at me go! Hey, good job! <laughs> Keep it up! Oh, I'm getting tired! <laughs> playing at Amy's Playground in South Pasadena, California. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. Bye-bye. <laughs> Look at this tractor. The word tractor starts with the letter T. This is an uppercase T and that is a lowercase t. <gasps> tractors, oh tractors, they get the job done. Tractors work all day. The letter T sounds like T, 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 tractor, tractor, <laughs> yeah, oh, I have a game for us to play together. Okay, I got some eggs, and then I'll open the eggs up, and then the toys <laughs> that are inside, you gotta tell me what toy Starts with the letter T, okay? Um, let's see. 
Let's start with these eggs. Oh, these pink eggs. Oh, look what's look what look what's inside. Yeah, there's dinosaurs inside. Okay, let's uh, open up this one first. Ooh, look at this dinosaur. <laughs> it doesn't start with T though, because this is a Stegosaurus. That starts with the letter S. Okay, um, let's see here. Ooh, let's open up this one. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Look at this dinosaur. Whoa, that's a giant dinosaur. It doesn't start with T though. It starts with the letter B. Brachiosaurus. Yep. Whoa, that's a big dinosaur, but it doesn't start with the letter T. Last but not least. Oh, yeah. The Tyrannosaurus Rex. It starts with the letter T. You might know him as the T Rex. <laughs> that's easy. Okay, let's put the dinosaurs away and we'll open up some more eggs. Um, let's open up these eggs. Okay, um, I wonder what's inside. A cucaracha, a cucaracha. <laughs> okay, uh, let's open up the blue egg first. Um, whoa. <gasps> whoa! Yeah, it's a princess. Do you know her name? Cinderella! Doesn't start with the letter T. Ooh, another princess. Yeah, that's Ariel. This one. <laughs> yeah, Tiana. She starts with the letter T. Tiana, Ariel, and Cinderella. Okay. We have some more eggs to open up. Ooh, more eggs. And there's animals in these. Okay, I'm gonna just open them all up and then you gotta tell me what one starts with the letter T. I'm not gonna tell you what one it is though. What one of these animals starts with the letter T? Is it this one? Mm, nope. This one? Yeah! The tiger! Because that one starts with the letter Z, it's a zebra, and that one is an E. Elephant! <laughs> oh, let's bring out all the things that start with the letter T. Yeah! The T-Rex. <laughs> Tyrannosaurus Rex. And then Tiana. And then Tiger. <laughs> that was so much fun learning about the letter T with you and picking out things that start with the letter T. Let's watch some real tigers out in the wilderness and in the zoo.
So much fun learning about the letter T with you. Tiana, Tiger, T Rex, Tyrannosaurus Rex, and Tractor. <laughs> rim, rim, rim. Well, I had so much fun learning about the letter T with you. Now you know what the letter T looks like and sounds like. T, T. Tractor, Tyrannosaurus Rex, Tiger, Tiana. T -t <laughs> There's so many things that start with the letter T. You can walk around and look around, and you can see what starts with the letter T. It's so much fun. Well, this is the end of the T video, so maybe see you again. <laughs> hey! Me, Blippi! And look at what I have! Whoa! This is a lot of tools! <laughs> I am so excited to use these tools today with you! But first, we need to shut the workshop garage door. Check this out! Oh, this is a chain. Whoa. <laughs> Sounds cool. You can make music with it. <laughs> okay. Anywho, you pull one side down and then it shuts the door. All right. <laughs> there we go. Whoa. All right. Back to the cool stuff the tools. In this video, I am going to use these tools. And yep, they are real tools. Like this handsaw. Or this cordless drill. <laughs> but I'm going to use all safety precautions that should be used at all times. And also, just because you're a young, you shouldn't use real tools. But what you can use are toy tools, like this hammer, ooh, pair of pliers, ooh, like this saw. <laughs> but for this video, I, Flippy, am going to use real tools with all safety gear on and safety precautions because I'm a grown-up and only grown-ups should use real tools. So first, let's listen to the Blippi Tool Song. Ah! When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. The wrench tightens pipes going clang, clang. A hammer hits a nail going bang, bang, bang. A drill is making holes going zzz, zzz. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear thuds and squeaks, cracks and rings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear bangs and booms, clangs and zings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. Cutting wires with some pliers going snip, snip. 
Cutting paper with some scissors going clip, clip. When you're working with tools, you've got to be real safe by wearing gloves on your hands and goggles on your face. And boys and girls, when you're working with tools, always follow mom and dad's safety rules. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear thuds and squeaks, cracks and rings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear bangs and booms, clangs and zings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. tools to choose from. But first, we need our safety gear on. And what's really important are safety glasses. Yeah. So what they do is help protect your eyes. See? Nothing's hurting my eyes. Awesome. Okay, so we'll have those on. And then what we need to put on are safety gloves. So, let's put one glove on, and then let's put another glove on. So that makes one, two gloves. And you have to clap. <laughs> okay, and another set of safety gear is my earmuffs. We'll put these on later when we're ready for them. Okay, so now let's make sure we're nice and organized. Because you can't be unorganized when you're doing hard work like this. So let's bring this right over here. Whoa! <laughs> okay, let's put this right here. And then, now let me show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this piece of wood right here. See how tall it is? Whoa, it's about up to my chest. And we need to cut this into a smaller piece. Whoa, see how big that piece of wood is? Whoa! <laughs> All right, so let's set this piece of wood down right here. All right, and then we need to go get some tools. Do you know what tool to use to cut a piece of wood? Is it this? No, this is a broom and a dustpan. <laughs> That's for cleanup time. Okay, huh, let's see, is it is it this tool right over here? No, this is a hammer. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> you hammer in nails with a hammer. That can't cut a piece of wood. Hmm. <gasps> yeah. Yeah, a saw. This is a hand saw. And this is what we're gonna use to cut a piece of wood. So let's put it right over here. Okay, and then, do you see this? Whoa, there's a cable attached to it. Do you know what that means? Yeah, it doesn't work right now because it doesn't have power. So we need to attach some power to it. All right. What over here can pull power? Um, is it this? 
<laughs> this is a cordless drill. It gets power from its battery. See? But it can't provide power to this saw. <gasps> yeah! Yeah, you're right! Good job! This is an extension cable. We plug this into the wall and then the saw into this. And then it'll have power. Let's plug it in. Look at this right here. This is where you plug it into. Let's plug it in. Yeah! I did it! <laughs> All right, so now we need to find the other end. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Here it is. Let's go! Let me show you a trick. So we need to plug these two together. But if you just plug them in, it's probably gonna come unplugged at some point. So check this out. Loop, swoop, and then plug. Loop, swoop, and plug. See, now you can tug on it gently and it won't come unplugged. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so now this saw is live. So if you pull the trigger, it goes. So we'll keep this right here for now. And then we need to measure this piece of wood. So let's go over here and locate the tool that we can use to measure. Is it this? No, this is a standard screwdriver. <laughs> yeah, it's just screws and screws. Okay, we need something that you can use to measure. <gasps> yeah, a measuring tape. Yeah, right here. This is a measuring tape. Check it out. Whoa! <laughs> Do you see these numbers? Yeah, these are numbers that tell you how short and small and long and big things are. Perfect. All right, let's take a marker. You know what that is. And now let's measure. Okay, all right. Here we go. So let's measure this piece of wood. Whoa, it's really big. So let's measure it to, I know, 12 inches. Do you see the number 12? Right there, 12. It's one after 11 and one before 13. Yeah, so let's make a mark. Perfect. And that is 12 inches. Hey, did you know in some places of the world, 12 inches is one foot? <laughs> yep, so today we're measuring in inches and feet. But in some parts of the world, they measure in centimeters and meters. <laughs> okay, all right, let's put these tools back over here. And let's put on our earmuffs. Hello? What did you say? I can't hear you. <laughs> Okay, anyways, let me get back to work. All right, so here we go. This is where I need to cut. 
that line. And this is the saw I'm gonna use to cut it. And let me remind you again, this is a grown-up tool. And you should not use grown-up tools. But you can use child play tools. Those are really fun. Yeah, those toys are so fun to play with. Okay, but for now, we need to get some work done. So, I'm gonna prop this up, line it up, and then when I pull the trigger, it's gonna go. Here we go. Remember how this piece of wood used to be up to my chest? But now, it's up to my belly button. <laughs> See? Now it's up to my chest. <laughs> what? I can't hear you. <laughs> okay, let me take these off. All right, so we need this piece of wood. And Actually, we need this piece of wood too. We need to screw them together, like that. So, that's what we're gonna do. Put that right here, while we put this away. So first, let's unplug it. Perfect. All right, now, when you pull the trigger, nothing happens. So, let's wrap up the cable and the cord, and let's stay organized and put it away. And then, let's wrap up the extension cable. All right, nice and organized. Hello! <laughs> All right, put that right there. And now, we need to do two things. Remember how I said we need to screw in the two pieces of wood? So we need a screwdriver or a drill. And then the other thing we're gonna do is hammer in a nail. So we need a hammer and a nail. Let's find those items now. Okay, let's see, a hammer. Let's see. Oh yeah, yeah, remember? Yeah, a hammer. This is a hammer. You know what a hammer is. Boop, 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 boop. It hammers in nails. Okay, and let's see. Here's a nail. Perfect. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. Let's grab a second nail. Okay, so now I have two nails. Put it right over here. And then we need a drill and a screw. Do you see those? Yeah, here it is. Oh, wait a second. This is bolt cutters. <laughs> this isn't what we need. <laughs> okay, what we need yeah, right here, the drill, the cordless drill. Whoa! <laughs> and then, two screws. Perfect. So we have everything we need. So, let's move all this stuff back down to here. So, we're gonna screw these in together. And then, we're gonna nail this on top, okay? So, let's screw it in. First, you take your drill, and you start drilling, nice and slow. Yep. Perfect. All right. And then, 
Here's another one. Perfect. There we go. See? <laughs> Perfect. They stick together. Whoa. All right. So now what we need to do is put this right here. Do it a little bit further. Okay. So now to keep this on top, we now need to hammer in two nails. Okay? So one nail, two nails. See? Okay. So let's put, let's start with the small one first. See how one's smaller than the other? Yeah. Let's start with this one. Put it right there and make sure you don't hit your, your fingers. Perfect. There's one and then here's another. We did it! Check it out! <laughs> yeah! So we have three pieces of wood together. See, if I just hold this one, all three stay together. <laughs> and you know what I'm gonna do with this? Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. Yeah! Oh! Oh, yeah! This is my new back massager. <laughs> yeah! I love building things. Oh, yeah. That's the spot. <laughs> yeah, we did such a good job learning about tools today together. And remember, like I said, I used grown-up tools because I am a grown-up, but you should use toy tools and never use grown-up tools, real tools, until you're a grown-up, okay? Will you promise me that? <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Let's spell my name together, all right? B-L-I-P-P-I, -I, Blippi. Good job. All right, now it's time for cleanup. Clean up, clean up, clean up your stuff. Clean up, clean up, clean up your stuff. Clean up, clean up, clean up your stuff. Clean up, clean up. Working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. The wrench tightens pipes going clang, clang. A hammer hits a nail going bang, bang, bang. A drill is making holes going zzz. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear thuds and squeaks, cracks and rings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear bangs and booms, clangs and zings.
Cause when you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. Cutting wires with some pliers, going snip, snip. Cutting paper with some scissors, going clip, clip. When you're working with tools, you've got to be real safe by wearing gloves on your hands and goggles on your face. And boys and girls, when you're working with tools, always follow mom and dad's safety rules. When you're working with tools, Working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear thuds and squeaks, cracks and rings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear bangs and booms, clangs and zings. When you're working with tools, Blippi, and look at where I'm at. Yeah, I am at Valley Auto in Tenino, Washington. This is where they work on vehicles. Whoa, do you see that truck up there? Whoa, it's so high up there. That's crazy. Whoa, so many cool machines in here. Come on. Whoa, look at this big truck. Do you see how it's on the ground? Yeah, they're on the ground, but then they use these big things called lifts to go underneath and lift it up to the sky. So then the mechanics can work underneath the truck and car, so then they don't have to bend down or be uncomfortable. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at this. Whoa, this is so heavy. Wow, this is a battery. Yeah, most vehicles have batteries, so then it helps them turn on. Yeah, land also, turn on the radio. <laughs> and things like that. Yeah, batteries have electricity stored inside. Ooh, look at these. These are hose clamps. Whoa, there's a small one, and here is a big one. These are what goes around hoses and clamps them nice and tight. Hey, what shape are these? Yeah, these are circles. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? All right, let's put those back. Let's keep exploring. Whoa, look at all of these. Do you see these? Wow, this right here, yeah, is a nut, washer, and a bolt. This is what you use to tighten things. Yeah, nice and close together. Like say if there is a piece of metal right here and another piece of metal, you could tighten it nice and tight so then it doesn't slip and slide. <laughs> All right, let's put that back. Uh, <laughs> okay, woo, so cool. Whoa, this is a massive engine. That looks so powerful. Wow. So cool. Well, hey, let's see. Oh, look at this. Remember earlier how I said that the lift lifts up the truck so the mechanic can stand up nice and tall? Well, sometimes you might not have a lift and you need to get really low on the ground and work on the vehicle from the ground. Whoa. Whoa! Whee! <laughs> Look at me go! I'm a mechanic! Whee! <laughs> yeah, you can slide because it has wheels. <laughs> okay, all right. Enough playing around. Let's get to work. Oh! Hey! It's someone else. Who are you? Colton. Oh, nice to meet you, Colton. Well, what are you doing over there? Uh, getting ready to weld. Oh, weld? That's really cool. Hey, do you know what welding is? Yeah, welding's where you take two pieces of metal and apply some electricity, heat, some gas, and it becomes so hot, they come, become connected. Yeah, it's kind of like glue, but for metal. <laughs> well, Colton, will you show us how to do it? 
Yep, I just need to lift up the truck. All right, let's check it out. <laughs> Oh, do you see what they're doing? Yeah, there's, they're using those metal posts to go under the truck. So then they can work underneath it safely so it doesn't fall on them. Okay, let's watch them weld. like he has some safety gear. Check it out. <laughs> See these? Yeah, these are his gloves. It keeps his hands protected while he's welding. And this looks like his helmet. Yeah, and it has this really dark shade right here. So then he can look at what he's doing because it's too bright to look at without this. You definitely never want to look at what you're doing welding unless you have this. So if you ever see someone welding, do not look at that light, okay? Okay. Oh, here you go. <laughs> Colton did such a great job welding. Hey, Colton, thank you so much for showing us how to weld. Yep, no problem. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's keep exploring. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa. This has been so much fun. Did you see when he was welding? It looked like fireworks. Whoa. Yeah, that was awesome. Ooh. Look at this yellow toolbox. Whoa, I think we should open it up and see what tools are inside. Whoa, whoa, look at these socket sets. Wow, that is so nicely organized. Whoa, remember earlier? Yeah, we were talking about those nuts. Yeah, these sockets go over the nuts and then you use a lever to then turn it and then you can get it nice and tight. Yeah, that is really cool. Ooh, let's see what else is in here. I love tools. They're so much fun. Whoa, look. Yeah, a wrench. Yeah, you can also use these to tighten nuts. Great, 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 great. <laughs> that is so cool. All right, let's put it away. Ooh, what else is in here? Whoa, yeah, a crescent wrench. Whoa. We must have a customer. Someone else will get that. But hey, check it out, a crescent wrench. Looks like a mouth. Hello? Hello? <laughs> That's silly. Okay, well, oh, look at this. You know what this is? Yeah, it kind of looks like a hammer, doesn't it? Yeah, but it's actually a rubber mallet. Watch this. Yeah! You can hit things with it. Yeah! You, uh, like a tire. Watch this! <laughs> I don't know what you would do that for, but it's fun! Whoa! Yeah! A vise right here? Yeah, you can put things in here. Turn this and see it closing? Yeah! Keeps things held right here, so then you can work on it. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo, look. Yeah, looks like a fan. 
It looks like a fan! Yeah! This looks like a fan that goes in front of the radiator. Wow, I sure do love mechanic shops and tools! Hey, I think this is the perfect time for the tool song! Yeah! When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. The wrench tightens pipes going clang clang, a hammer hits a nail going bang bang bang, a drill is making holes going zzz. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear thuds and squeaks, cracks and rings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear bangs and booms, clangs and zings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. Cutting wires with some pliers going snip, snip. Cutting paper with some scissors going clip, clip. When you're working with tools, you've got to be real safe By wearing gloves on your hands and goggles on your face And boys and girls, when you're working with tools Always follow mom and dad's safety rules When you're working with tools, working with tools You hear all kinds of things when you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear thuds and squeaks, cracks and rings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear bangs and booms, clangs and zings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. Whoa! Check it out! Yeah, it looks like we have some big bolts. Whoa! And we have some big nuts! Whoa! Hey, what's this doing here? Do you know what this is? Yeah, it's a steering wheel. Ten and two. <laughs> Driving a car is so much fun! You'll get there! And you need to be very safe and always wear your seatbelt. But hey, in order to drive your car, you need to maintain your vehicle. Yeah, and that is why we're at the mechanic shop. <laughs> but hey, check these out. Whoa, this is the cylinder head. Whoa, there's so many parts to an engine, and this is just one of them. Oh, and over here, this is the exhaust manifold. Whoa. Yeah, like I said, there's a lot of parts to an engine, but this is where the engine is, and then the exhaust goes through all these pipes to the back of the vehicle. Yeah, and you've probably seen exhaust pipes before. Yeah. Well, hey, I have one last thing to show you right over here. The best part about mechanic shops is cleaning up at the end of the day, and all your hard work pays off. <laughs> well, this has been so much fun learning about tools with you today and welding, and what it's like to be in a shop. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. Monster truck! Are you ready to learn about some monster trucks? Let's go!
Hey, whoa, look at that. It's a giant monster truck. Let's check out some of the parts of the monster truck. Whoa, these, yeah, are the wheels and tires. They're so big. All that in there, that's the gears and the suspension. There's so much stuff going on in there. Whoa, yeah, the engine. The engine is right here. That's where the monster truck gets all of its power from. Ooh, and this, that big yellow thing, that's the body of the monster truck. Monster wheels and tires. Check it out! This green monster truck is doing a wheelie! Let's watch an instant replay and then watch a couple more monster truck wheelies! You're inside a real monster truck. Let me show you some of the parts. First off, you got in here because you went from the bottom. You get inside a monster truck from the bottom. And here's the first part I'll tell you about. This is the steering wheel. You steer the monster truck with this, okay? And then let's push the ignition button which then flips on all of your gauges, like your oil temperature, transmission temp, and your, your tack, which is your rotations per minute of the engine. Whoa, and how you make that engine go vroom is down here is the gas pedal. Vroom, vroom, vroom. And then this is the brake. That's how you stop the monster truck. All right, now let's watch some monster trucks. Oh, look at how big this monster truck is. It stands about 12 feet tall. That's four meters in height. To put it into perspective, that's about two of me. Blippy. Phew! 
That was close. Want to see what it's like riding inside a real monster truck? It was really cool seeing inside a real monster truck while it drives. <laughs> it was really bumpy. Meet my friend Peyton. <laughs> he's a crew chief and he's gonna tell you a fact about his monster truck. So this monster truck weighs 10,000 pounds. Peyton is so cool, he gets to work on monster trucks all day long. And he even gets to wash their tires. I like monster trucks. Do you guys like monster trucks? That was so enjoyable learning about monster trucks Yay! with me! Excavator. That is a dump truck, and these are rocks. And the excavator put the rocks in the back of the dump truck. Bye bye, dump truck. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Bye! Mm. <laughs> no more rocks, no more dump truck. Wow, this excavator is so neat. I think we should look at the parts and learn the parts of an excavator. Okay, um, first, <laughs> oh, this right here is the bucket. Yeah, it scoops stuff up and puts it in the back of the dump truck or digs up a hole and, and puts that dirt or material in some other place. <laughs> right here, that is the arm and it extends the bucket out further or digs deep. Right here, ooh, that is the boom. The boom and arm are attached to the bucket and the cab. The cab is where the operator of the excavator sits. <laughs> and then how the excavator gets all of its power is from the engine. Wow, that's a big engine back there. And then the excavator actually runs on tracks. Wow, tracks are really useful because then you won't get stuck very often. Whoa, that's so cool. That looks like most of the parts of the excavator we will learn today. That was so much fun learning the parts of the excavator with you. If you want to dance and sing along to the excavator song, all you got to do is search for my name and excavator song. Blippi, B-L-I-P-P-I. Blippi, that's my name. Blippi, excavator song. Whoa! Here, listen, I'll show you some of it. Sit, it's called a cab where they control the bucket to scoop and grab. I'm a whole regulator, I'm an excavator. Oh, can't you see that I work all day? Do you ever sleep? No time for An excavator, excavator. Hey, dirt, see you later. I'm an excavator. Hey, it's me, Flippy. And look at what it is. Yeah, it's a backhoe. And today, you and I are going to learn about backhoes! Okay, now it's time to learn the exterior parts of the backhoe. Come on. Wow, this backhoe is so big. Oh, and look at what else is big. Yeah, this is a big wheel and tire. Oh, and hey, up here, is a smaller wheel and tire. Ooh, look, wow, 
this is tread of the tire. And tread is used so then when it spins, it doesn't slip and slide. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I am sure dizzy. <laughs> whoa, come here. Wow, this right here is the cab. And this is where the operator of the backhoe sits. Wow, so cool. Ooh, and look up there. That, though, yeah, those are the headlights. And that right there is the turn signal. So then you can drive this backhoe on city streets legally. Wow. This is a stabilizer leg, and it's normally up, but right now it's down in the mud. So then when the backhoe is digging, it's nice and stable. Whoa, I am so stable. Ooh. And this of the backhoe is called the boom. That up there is the arm, and this arm is actually pretty special because it has an extender ex ex <laughs> That was awesome! Ooh, and look at this. This is the back bucket of the backhoe. It can get some pretty big scoops. <laughs> we'll get some together later. Come on. is the exhaust. That's where the engine pushes all of its exhaust from. Whoa! <laughs> oh, hey, look at this. This is the front bucket, and it's really big, even bigger than the back bucket. And this front bucket is actually pretty special. It is a four-in-one bucket, and it acts like a clamshell. I love clams. <laughs> Ooh. Wow. Look at this. These are hydraulic hoses. This is a hydraulic cylinder. And hydraulics are used to provide power by pushing fluid through them to the front and the back bucket. Wow. I love back hose. <laughs> It's time to drive and operate the backhoe. Come on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a second. Are we forgetting something? Yeah. First things first. Safety first. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. I got my hard hat on and my orange safety vest. All right. Now it's time to drive and operate the backhoe. Come on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a second. I think we're forgetting something else. Yeah, we need to make sure that the engine is good to go. So let's go check it. Come on. Ooh, all right. So this is the hood of the engine. So let's open it up. Whoa. This is a massive engine. See, this is the air filter. This is the coolant. There's a giant tube from the radiator, the alternator, the battery. Wow, this is so powerful. But what you and I need to do is check the oil, and it's down there. Whoa, all right. So the oil is down there with the yellow O dipstick. The transmission is over there with the T dipstick. 
So let's grab the yellow O dipstick. <gasps> yeah. Okay, we need to wipe it off. Put it back in. So now we can inspect the oil. Yeah, looks like it's okay. <laughs> All right, put it back in. And now that the backhoe is good to go, we can drive it. Let's go. All right, now we're inside the backhoe. Ooh, and first things first, safety first. We have to put on our seatbelt. Good job. The cool thing about backhoes are there's a front side and a back side. So we'll check out the front side. Whoa, look at this. This is the steering wheel. This is how you drive the backhoe. <laughs> Ooh, and this right here, this is the shifter. This is how you put it in forward or reverse. And over here, this, yeah, they're the turn signals. As well as, listen. <laughs> yeah, the horn. <gasps> and this, this is how you operate the front bucket. You pull it back to make it go up. You push it forward to make it go down. Yeah, it's so great. And now let's go check out the back, okay? Wow, as you can see, the back is where the broom is, the arm, the bucket, and the stabilizer legs. And how you operate those is primarily with these two joysticks. This one, whoa, whoa, whoa! And this one, whoa, whoa, whoa! Now both of them at once, ready? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Ooh, and check out this little black button. Hey, listen. <laughs> yeah, good job. All right. Now, it's time to use the backhoe. Let's turn it on. <laughs> are the most versatile machine on the job site because it has the big front bucket and the small back bucket. Whoa! Whoa! Now it's time for the backhoe dance. And how you do it is when you see a backhoe front bucket, on the screen, you dance like this, okay? And when you see a back backhoe bucket, you dance like this. <laughs> All right, here we go. An excavating machine, digging in the earth. <laughs> okay, get ready. A hinge and a boom. It's called a backhoe and it's really cool. A backhoe at construction sites, digging trenches for laying pipes. <laughs> All right, here comes another one. But it cleans it up so easily. A backhoe, backhoe, backhoe dance. Backhoe, backhoe dance. Backhoe. <laughs> 
last one. Ah! That was so much fun learning about backhoes with you. Thanks so much for watching the Blippi Backhoe video. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? All right. B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Blippi, good job. See you again. Vroom, 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 vroom. Okay. Look, we got excavator. Yeah. <laughs> yep, excavator. And we got dump truck. We need to go find the snowmobile that got caught up in an avalanche of all this snow. Whoa, okay. Oh, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Oh no, dump truck's stuck. Okay, I'll help him. Good job, excavator. Keep it up. Okay. Yeah, we did it. Whoa, look at this big hill we got to get over. <sighs> Rev up your engines, boys and girls. That's a really big hill. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> Yeah, we made it! Woo! Okay, let's see what's under here. Snowmobile, where are you? Snowmobile! Snowmobile's not here. Hmm. Snowmobile, yeah. Where are you? Oh, they said they're a little bit further this way. All right, boys and girls, let's go. Mean, 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 mean. Whoa, whoa. Okay, must be around here. This is where we got the avalanche control call. So, dump truck. Back up to the job site. Okay, I'm in position. Okay, okay, excavator. Your job is to dig and put snow in the back of dump truck. Okay. All right. One load. Good job, dump truck. Ha <laughs> good job, excavator. Whoa, the second load. <laughs> yeah. Okay, one last load, which is the third load. One, two, three. Yeah, look at that big load. Whoa! And look at what it is. Oh, oh, oh. we got it. Yeah, the snowmobile. Woohoo! <laughs> Good job, excavator. Yeah, excavator did a really good job. <laughs> and good job, dump truck. Oh. 
Okay. <laughs> now the snowmobile can play in peace. <laughs> Go, 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 cart Racing down the track Never looking back Do another lap Go, go, cart Put your helmet on We can have some fun Go, go, cart The red flag means stop The green flag means go Put the pedal to the metal And we're speeding up Going down the road And check this out. This is a giant moose. And today, you and I at Northwest Trek in Eatonville, Washington are going to see some awesome animals. Maybe we'll see a moose. I am so excited. Let's go. Bye-bye, moose. Whoa, check out this radical off-road vehicle. This is so cool. This is what you and I are going to take the tour in. Let's inspect it. Make sure it's nice and safe for us. Check it out. These are some big wheels and tires. Whoa, and look at that tread. That is some big tread for some massive off-roading. Yeah. Whoa. Check out that up there. That is the canopy top. Just in case if it rains, nothing will hit our heads. It's kind of like an umbrella, but for a vehicle. All right. Let's check out inside. Whoa, hey, check this out. Hello, hello, Northwest Trek. Blippi's here. Can I come on the tour? Hey there, Blippi, you're clear for the tour. All right, you heard him. We're ready to take the tour. All right, first we need to finish our vehicle tour. All right, check this out. This is where you fill up the vehicle with gas. Yep, it's nice and full. All right, there we go. Oh, now into the back of the vehicle. Whoa! Check it out. Whoa, there's so many seats back here. Whoa! <laughs> this is so cool. I'm gonna sit right here so I can get a bird's eye view of all the fun animals we're about to see. Let's go! Whoa! Do you see those animals? 
Those animals are elk. Hey, look at that one. That one has big antlers. That one is a boy. And all those other ones are girls. <laughs> See you later, elk. <laughs> oh, looks like they're playing. See ya. <laughs> Let's go explore some more animals around here. Check it out, this is a bison. Whoa, and do you see how it has some fur on the side? Yeah, some really short fur and some long fur. And that long fur is called a cape. Yeah, that means this bison is a boy. Whoa, this bison is so big, it weighs the size of a small car. <laughs> Whoa, this is so much fun at the Northwest Trek. <laughs> Whoa, do you see that animal? That is a moose. One way I can tell that that is a moose is the thing that it has under its chin. Yeah. <laughs> That's called a bell. Whoa, and there's another moose over here. Hello, moose. Hey, moose. <laughs> Do you see how that moose is moving its ears? Yeah, they have some big ears. They can probably hear really good. Let's see. Hello, moose. Hello. Hey. <laughs> I was being really quiet, and it heard me. <laughs> Check out those animals. Those animals are big horned sheep. Do you see their horns? Yeah, if you look at them from the side, it kind of looks like a circle. <laughs> wow, what cool animals. Whoa! This is so much fun at Northwest Trek. We are finding so many animals. They are so cute. <laughs> There's three goats right here. Hey, I think you and I should count them. One, two, three. Yeah, three white goats. Oh, they're so cute. Hello, goat. Hey. <laughs> oh. oh, looks like two are leaving. Three minus two is one. But they're still there. So there's three. <laughs> so silly. Bison is massive. <laughs> and those goats are really small. It's so cool that these two species of animals are living right next to each other and they're getting along. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Northwest Trek is such a great place to see animals that are native to the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> yeah. Huh, well, we gotta keep going because we have so many more animals to see. Let's go! Whoa! Do you see those birds? Oh, oh! They're so big! Those are bald eagles. Do you see how that one has a white neck and head? Yeah, because that is an adult. But that one right there with the darker neck and head that means it's a juvenile, which is five years and younger. Hey, how old are you? <laughs> cool. <laughs> Whoa, this is the wingspan of a bald eagle. Whoa, it has a bigger wingspan than I do. Whoa, go, go, go. Whoa, do you see that animal? <laughs> that animal is a raccoon. Whoa, raccoons are so cute. <laughs> yeah, you can find raccoons in a lot of places, like out in the wilderness and even in the city. 
Yeah, sometimes I hear my garbage at night getting ruffled up. <laughs> and actually, it's a raccoon just trying to find some food. <laughs> Oh, do you see that? Those are itty bitty chunks of food for an animal called river otters. I am so excited. <laughs> oh, do you see those animals? Those are the river otters I was talking about earlier. <laughs> and they're eating lunch. Oh, come check them out. Hey, there they are. Wow, <laughs> they look really hungry. River otters can actually dive down 60 feet underwater. Whoa, that's about 20 meters. That is really deep. <laughs> Check them out. Whoa, that is a wolverine. It has some really sharp claws. <laughs> and its teeth and jaw is so sharp it can crunch through bones. Whoa, and these animals are really fierce. They have to be fierce because they live in the wilderness. Whoa, <laughs> what cool animals. Whoa, do you see those animals? Yeah, those are bears. They're actually grizzly bears. <laughs> These are the biggest bears that we have in the Pacific Northwest. Oh, they're so big! And their smell is so good, they can smell food from 20 miles away. Wow, that's like about 32 kilometers. That is so far. Hey, I have an idea. How about you and I act like bears? So we get on all fours, but when you hear music, then you stand up. Ugh! and growl and dance like a bear. Ready? All right, act like a bear. today at Northwest Trek in Eatonville, Washington. Wow, we sure did learn about a lot of Pacific Northwest animals today, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, I really enjoyed learning with you. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I, -I, Blippi. Good job. All right. See you soon. Bye-bye. Hey, it's me, Flippy. Whoa, and I'm drinking some really tasty orange juice. Mmm, <laughs> it's so tasty. And it's sweet. And it's my favorite color. <laughs> the color orange. <laughs> hey. I wonder where orange juice comes from. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's right. It comes from oranges. <laughs> Silly me. <laughs> oranges are so tasty and really good for your body because they give you lots of vitamins and energy. <laughs> yeah. There are so many cool, colorful fruits. <laughs> Whoa, there's so many different shapes and sizes. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Whoa, <laughs> look at these fruits. These are really fuzzy. Ooh. <laughs> They're soft. Oh, yeah. These fruits are kiwi. Whoa, they're the color brown. Hmm. But kiwi, you cut them open, they're the color green. And they're really sweet inside. Whoa, blue! <laughs> they're really cool. I'm gonna save these for later. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Look at this fruit. <laughs> this fruit is really big. 
and heavy. <laughs> this is a watermelon. Whoa, and the watermelons are really big and tasty. <laughs> yeah, they're the color green, but kind of like a kiwi. If you open them up, they're red inside. And they have lots of little teeny tiny black seeds that'll grow up to be other watermelon. <laughs> Whoa! That was so cool! We learned about all these different colors and, and fruits. <laughs> and we learned about orange juice comes from oranges. Whoa! <laughs> hey, but now that we know where orange juice comes from, where do oranges come from? Hmm, maybe they grow up really tall in a tree. Hmm, or maybe down in the ground? Hmm, I'm not sure, but I know a great place that you and I can go. We can find out all we need to know about oranges. <laughs> hey, will you go with me? <laughs> yeah, come on, let's go. I'm so excited. It's me, Flippy, and today we're here at Showcase of Citrus in Claremont, Florida. <laughs> yeah! And today we get to learn all about oranges. Growing oranges, picking oranges, juicing oranges. <laughs> yeah! I'm super excited and hungry because oranges are really tasty. Not only that, but it's my favorite color. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. Come on! <laughs> hey! I'm so excited to learn all about oranges. But first, you and I get to go on a really exciting adventure ride on these big monster trucks. <laughs> yeah! Hey, let's get a closer look. Come on! <gasps> look at it! These wheels and tires are massive! They're even taller than me! <laughs> Whoa! I just love monster trucks. Whoa! And look inside this wheel! It's really big! It echoes! <laughs> Hello. Hello! Whoa, I am so excited to get in one of the monster trucks. And hey, look, it's the driver. Uh, Hello, what's your name? Hi, my name's Amy. Hi, Amy. <gasps> I think Amy's gonna take us on a monster truck ride. This is gonna be great. Come on. And hey, look, it's Amy. Hi, Amy. Hi, come on on. Let's go. We're riding on a real-life monster truck! Yeah! Let's sit down and get ready to start. All right, let's go! Okay, we're gonna go! <laughs> yeah! That's a really loud engine! <laughs> this is gonna be awesome! So, Amy, I really like oranges. Will we be able to pick some oranges to eat later? We will. Ooh, can we just pick any oranges we want? So we only have a certain amount of oranges that are available to pick. Some of them aren't ready yet, Ooh. but we do have lots of them. Well, how do you tell if an orange is ready or not? So how you tell is usually by the color. Um, sometimes though, it's usually more of when you feel it. Make sure at least it's a little bit soft. Ooh, we like oranges that are nice and soft and juicy. We don't want an unripe orange. Blah. No. Are those normally green oranges? They actually are. A lot of people don't know that. Um, so actually, you know during um, fall how the leaves mm -hmm. start to change? Mm -hmm. That's the same thing with oranges. They start off green and once it gets cool, um, they start to turn that nice yellow orange color. Um, and that is when you know they're ready to pick. Whoa, that's so cool. I didn't know that before, but you have leaves in fall that are green and then they turn my favorite color orange. <laughs> yeah. And Amy's telling me that it's the same thing with oranges. They're green and not very good to eat. And then they get nice and sweet and tasty as orange oranges. <laughs> my favorite. <laughs> hey, that was so much fun riding the monster truck with you. Well, I'm really excited because Amy's gonna help us pick some oranges in the orange grove. Yeah, come on, let's go pick some tasty oranges. <laughs> All right, so to start, you're gonna need your bag. Oh, we got our bag. You're also gonna need your picker. This is to help to get the oranges that are way high on top of the tree. Okay, and next we'll use the picker. Okay, so we need to pick some oranges, but do you remember what color we needed to pick the orange at? Hmm, <laughs> yeah, that's right, yellowish orange. See this one right here? Yeah, 
This orange is the color green. And it's a little firm, so it's not quite ripe yet. We want to find one. Hmm, I don't see any on this tree. Hmm, let's keep looking for an orange that's the right color. Come on. Ooh, there are so many oranges on this one. <laughs> hey, Amy, let's pick this one right here. So how do I pick this orange? All right, so we're going to do is we're going to pull and okay. twist. So I'll sit that yep. down. We're going to pull and twist. There you go. Twist and pull. Oh. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> you got two. I picked two oranges. Yeah. And look, they're a nice yellowish orange color, which means they're going to be super sweet and tasty. Yeah. OK. So I'll put these in our orange bag. Mm -hmm. Pick some more oranges. All right, I'm gonna try. Okay, let's get this one up All here. Right. We're gonna use the picker because it's too high up for me to get. We'll grab it with the picker and then uh, twist it. Whoa! <laughs> hey! And we got it! And then you just reach into the picker and you got yourself a tasty orange. Mmm! Thanks, Amy. You're welcome. Hey, and look! This orange tree has some really pretty white flowers. Huh. What are these white flowers called? Those are orange blossoms. Huh. Well, they sure are really pretty. What are these uh, flowers for? Just pretty decoration? No, so actually these are gonna end up turning into this. What? No way! Yeah. Did you hear that? Those pretty orange blossoms are gonna grow up big and strong and be a tasty fruit. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to eat some for myself. Hey. How about let's pick some more and then we can taste them. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's keep picking some oranges. Fix it down. Oh, here's another one. Yeah. One. Pick a second one. Two. Let's get another. Three. Fit one more in there. Oh, we can fit one more. It's looking pretty full. Here we go. And four. <laughs> yeah. Four oranges. And whoa, it looks like I filled up the entire bag with oranges. <laughs> yeah. These are going to be really tasty and juice or just by themselves. <laughs> well, thanks so much, Amy. You're welcome. Let's go eat them. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> That was so much fun picking all of those tasty oranges from the orange grove. And now we get to enjoy them by making some tasty orange juice. Yeah, we have everything we need right here. We have some cups. Ooh. <laughs> we have our oranges. That'll have all the juice. We have our juicer. <laughs> yeah, and this juicer will put the oranges in here and that'll squeeze out all the juice into our cup. And last but not least, we have our cutting board and we have a knife. Now, the first thing we need to do is take our orange and cut it in half. But just remember to never use a knife without a parent's help. Okay, here we go. Whoa, look at it. It's so colorful inside. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> so silly. Yeah, look at the inside. There's all these little parts that hold in all that sweet orange juice. Yeah, and look at the outside of it. All that little parts that are all white, that's called the pith. Yeah, the pith is a really healthy part of the orange. So if you're ever eating an orange, make sure you eat that part too, because it has lots of healthy vitamins. Cool, okay, so we have our oranges cut in half, and now take the juicer and a cup, put the orange in the juicer and we're gonna squeeze really hard and we'll watch as all the juice comes out of the bottom. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> whoa, look at it. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, and then you just take the orange out, put them right there, put in the other half. <laughs> Whoa, look at all that orange juice. Whoa, it's really good that we have this juicer to help us get all the juice out. Otherwise, it would be really tricky juicing these oranges. Also, if you look at the bottom, the orange juicer has all these teeny little slits. Yeah, and those slits help to catch all of the seeds inside of the orange. 
Yeah, each orange. Woo, these are kind of hard to pick up. Has these teeny tiny little seeds. And the seeds are gonna one day grow up and be really strong, big trees. First, the seed, you plant it in the soil, and a little leaf sprouts up. And then after you water it and take care of it for a little bit, it'll become a seedling, which is kind of like a teeny tiny little baby tree. And then it grows into a small tree and then into a really big adult tree. And it will grow fresh oranges to pick off the tree. <laughs> well, we already picked our oranges, so I'm gonna get to cutting and juicing so we can taste some yummy orange juice. Let's go. <laughs> Look at this one. This orange is red inside. Whoa, <laughs> that's really silly. Yeah, that's because this orange is called a red navel. It's colored red, but it'll still be really tasty. So we'll juice some of these too. was a lot of oranges to make this yummy cup of orange juice, <laughs> but I think it's all gonna be worth it. And now we get to taste the fruits of our labor. <laughs> okay, here we go. <gasps> oh, yeah! <laughs> this is really tasty. It's super sweet and really healthy too. Did you know that orange juice has lots of vitamin C in it? And it's really good for immunity to help you fight disease and stay nice and strong and healthy. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna have another sip. <laughs> so tasty. Well, thanks so much for helping me learn how to make some orange juice. <laughs> yeah. Hey. <laughs> Whoa, that was so much fun picking oranges with our good friend Amy and Showcase of Citrus. <laughs> They were so tasty! <laughs> yeah! Ooh, look at this! <laughs> it looks like it's time for the Bubbles Lab! Yeah! And look at what it says! Sink or float! <laughs> yeah! I love that game! Sink or float! And I have a really good idea. How about we see if the fruit that we learned about and these oranges will sink or float in some water. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. <laughs> yeah. Hello. <laughs> Whoa, look at all this stuff. I am so excited for sink or float. Whoa. And it looks like we get to do a science experiment. Yeah, a science experiment. <laughs> do you know what that is? That's when you make a guess about something, like if it will sink or float, and then you try it out to see if your guess was right. <laughs> Let's go see if some fruit sink or float. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa, look, it's all the delicious and colorful fruit from earlier. We have all kinds. Hey, let's start with the strawberries and see if they sink or float. Ooh. <laughs> okay, here we go. What do you think? Will they sink or float? Whoa, look at it. <laughs> they float to the top. Whoa, those strawberries are having a fun time floating. Woo, <laughs> let's try another fruit. Hmm, whoa, what about this fruit? This is an avocado. Let's see if it sinks or floats. <laughs> okay, here we go. On the count of three, we're gonna drop it in. Hmm, I wonder what it does. Three, two, one. Whoa, Whoa what's it gonna do? Oh, look at it. It sinks right to the bottom. <laughs> that was really cool. Okay, it's time to try one more fruit. Hey, what about an orange? 
Let's try the orange. Woo! <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Okay, here we go. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> that was bouncy. Now look, the orange floats to the top. Wait a minute. Oranges have peels. What if we peel it and try it again? Okay, let's try it. There's a little one, and it doesn't have its peel. It looks kind of silly. Ooh. <laughs> let's see if it sinks or floats. Whoa! <laughs> Did you see it? Yeah. We know something sinks or floats because of density. If an orange with a peel is kind of loosely packed together, then it's gonna float. But like the peeled orange, if it's really tightly packed together, oh, <laughs> then it'll sink to the bottom. Wow, that was so much fun doing a science experiment with you of sink or float. <laughs> Whoa, all that sweet, sweet orange juice has me in the mood for some sweet, sweet dance moves. <laughs> yeah, let's do the OJ twist together. And here are the moves. Do you remember how we picked oranges with Amy? Yeah. You grab the orange, and then you twist. And you pull it up. And then you have an orange. So that's what we're gonna do. Grab an orange, grab an orange, and twist. The second step is to have lots of fun and jump around while you're doing it. I'm so excited to dance with you. Let's go. Now take your hands and move your fist. You're doing it. The OJ twist. Do the OJ twist. Twist, twist, and twist like this. This, this. It'll be real sweet, sweet, sweet. Just move your feet, feet, feet. Do the OJ twist. Twist, twist, and twist like this. This, this. It'll be real sweet, sweet, sweet. Just move your feet, feet, feet. <laughs> was so much fun spending the day with you at the Orange Groves. Whoa! <laughs> we got to do so many awesome things, like eat oranges and pick oranges and drink some tasty orange juice. <laughs> yeah! <gasps> and we even got to do a really cool bubbles lab where we learned if oranges sink or float. <laughs> and a lot of other things. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> yeah. E-L-I-P-P-I. -P -I. Flippy. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. <laughs>